Hello YouTube, Zach and the Fianac and I here, and today's video is going to be one that, and I, I feel like I say this a lot, but this is one that I've uh, wanted to make a while now. It's, um, I don't think it's one a lot of, especially not my haters, would expect me to make, because as it turns out, goth is a subculture, not a counterculture. Now what does that mean? Oh, well, I can tell you what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that we absolutely can only listen, that, that that it's obligatory to listen to goth music and no other genres. Like any other genres is forbidden. Bullshit. Steaming, fly-ridden, freshly hot piles of bull. Really the only reason I've always seen goth as a subculture, to me at least, you could argue that this is valid. I really don't. Give a rat's mangled muff, but as it turns out, the only reason I've ever seen goth as a subculture and not a full-on culture is because we don't have any organized religious beliefs. Which is contrary to easily one of the biggest fallacies regarding goth is that, oh hey, uh, they're all a bunch of rapey, satanic, you know, assholes that kill animals and people in the woods. Um, <clears throat> and as it turns out, uh, we're actually a music subculture. But people think, oh, hey, uh, you know, and mainly this is novices to goth, which that's how you know they're not clued in at all. And moreover, they might not even be legitimate, even soon to be goths. They're obviously just more outsiders to it all. They just think that, oh, hey, even if it's music based, well, why not evolve it? If by evolving you mean devolving it, then no. Think about it. The only time they ever talk about evolving something, all they mean is, oh, hey, well, why don't we shift it away from music? Why don't we shift it away from any and all things that are its substance, its, sub, its very core? That's like saying, oh, hey, we love the shit out of apples, but let's get rid of those dirty-ass trees that they grow off of. Let's chop them all down. Just no, don't do that. The aesthetic never just fell out of the sky, man. Where do you think it came from? Where do you think it came from? Yeah, it, it, you could argue that it came from old-timey, you know, five, six centuries ago uh, during, you know, the time when everything had a gargoyle just, you know, on it or whatever. You could argue that it's from that. But I very much doubt that anyone from back then was wearing mohawks and band shirts back then. Having said that, there's nothing tyrannical about it. Either way, if you're hating it the entire time, you're doing it wrong. Doesn't matter whether you're fanatical about it, doesn't matter with... And even with the fanatics, there's very few and far in between of those. Um, contrary to what a lot of my haters will tell you. Because I got a lot of those. And, uh... Yeah, the, uh, on the other end, though, the, um, the posers, which there's a lot more of lately, especially... They'll basically bitch, cry, and complain about, Oh, well, uh, we don't like goth music. Well, there's nothing wrong with not being a goth. You don't have to assume a new identity just because you like the hell out of dark imagery. Just because maybe you're like me, you have a shitload of uh, paper bats all over your wall. I'm not even wearing a goth band shirt right now. This is fucking corn. None of the materialism, none of the shallow... Narcissistic garbage matters at the end of the day. Even if that is something you legitimately like. And you know what? Even if goth were about that, you gotta remember, it's... Hoarders was a show for a reason, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you can't rely on materialism to make you happy. That's what damaged, lonely SOBs do. Or DOBs. I don't discriminate. I'm an equal offender. Music... Has this quality to it, all right? It unlike a pair of socks or a fun jacket, maybe a cool pair of pants you like or whatever the hell. That shit will not save your life. Music does. Okay, and it does. It, this isn't even exclusive to goth music neither. This is something that people will say of any genre that they are akin to. Any of the shit that they like. I can't tell whether or not the audio's fucked right now. My kitten's messing around, uh, and she's black, by the way. If you've seen my. Uh, 500 subscribers milestone video. Um, yeah, she's in crazy mode right now. I can't show her to you. But yeah, um, what was I? I've got a black kitten now. So even that shit, fun as it is, it still doesn't matter. 
That's not going to give me goth points. Oh, hey, I've got black hairy pets. I've, you know, got a shitload of black clothes. Anybody can do that. Okay, this is really the only way, the only logical way to rule out the posers from actual goths. Okay, but all this video is here to prove, shocker, is that it really does go both ways. And uh, it's been a while, a few years at least, since anyone's addressed this. So I figured why not address it myself? Because I don't even think I ever have. Like at all. But that just goes to show you how serious the poser crap has uh, has gotten. It doesn't just affect... And this level of entitlement doesn't just affect goth, man. I think it's global at this point. It's like a pathogen. The self-entitled, cunty, you, you, you know? The Karen shit. How about no? Music saves lives. Okay, that's nothing a pair of pants, a fancy dress, or any sweater, a pair of gloves can do. Okay, that shit can make you happy temporarily, but it doesn't save your life. Music is relatable. It's deep. There's a substance to it. As a matter of fact, I firmly believe that when it comes to music, you have a better chance of bonding with people over music than you would, oh, hey, look at these cool-ass shoes, right? You form relationships over music, or at least you can, I'd like to think. Because I very much doubt the whole fashion first thing is uh, really enough to get anything off the ground. It sure as hell wasn't enough to save Jake and Kai's relationship. So for those of you who are new to the subculture, for those of you even curious about joining, don't think that you gotta hoard anything any more than you gotta indoctrinate yourself into anything. Because that's really not how it works on either end. Okay, your strength is in your balance. You gotta fucking Thanos that shit. Right? Don't make it disappear or nothing. Don't disintegrate the shit. If anything, that's what either of these absolutes could do. Alright, I'm gonna end this before my cat kills herself. Uh, if you like, please like. Feel free to share obscure little thoughts in the comments below, as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. I love you all.